In this Power Automate tutorial, we're kicking off a new series that demonstrates how to calculate age from a date column in SharePoint. In this first part, I'll show you how to automatically calculate someone's age, down to the year, month, and day, when a new item is added. Perfect for tracking birthdays, start dates, or any time-based info. Let's start by looking at the SharePoint list setup. You'll need a list with the following structure. There's a column called Title, which is a single line of text used to label each item. Then there's a date column, which is a date and time field. This stores the reference date, like a birthday. And finally, we have three number columns, age in years, age in months, and age in days. These will hold the calculated values. Make sure the column names match exactly. Now let's build the flow in Power Automate. From the Power Automate home screen, click Create in the navigation menu. Next, select Automated Cloud Flow. In the pop-up window, give your flow a name, something like Calculate Age on Item Create. Under Choose Your Flow's Trigger, search for and select when an item is created. Then click Create. Inside the Flow Designer, start by configuring the trigger. Click on the When an Item is Created trigger. For site address, select the SharePoint site where your list is located. For list name, choose the specific list you want to monitor. This setup ensures the flow will run whenever a new item is added to the list. Next, click on the New Step button, search for the Compose action, and select it. Rename the step to Compose Age and Days. Then, Click Insert Expression and enter the following formula into the input field and click Add. You can also download a copy of all the formulas used in this video by clicking the link in the video description and completing the form. Here's a quick breakdown of how the formula works. We use the ticks function, which converts a date and time into a large number representing the number of 100 nanosecond intervals since January 1st, year 0001. This allows us to calculate the exact difference between two dates with incredible precision. We subtract the number of ticks for the reference date from the current time using UTC now, then divide by the number of ticks in one day, 864 billion, to get the total number of days. Next, let's build out the next compose action to calculate the age in years. Click plus new step, add another compose action and rename it to Compose Age in Years. Click into the Inputs field, then click on Insert Expression and paste this formula. This converts the time span into years based on 365.25 days per year. Next, let's add the final Compose action to calculate the age in months. Click plus New Step, add a third Compose action, and rename it to Compose Age in Months. Click into the Inputs field, then click on Insert Expression and paste this formula. This calculates the total number of months using an average of 30.44 days per month. If you want to return a whole number instead of a decimal, you can wrap the formula in int or round. Now let's update the SharePoint item with the calculated values. Click plus New Step, search for Update Item, and select it. Choose the same site address and list name used earlier. For the ID field, select ID from the trigger. For the title field, select title from the trigger. This field must be repopulate. Then, for each number field, click into the input and use dynamic content to select the output from the matching compose action. For age and days, select the output from Compose Age and Days. For age and years, select the output from Compose Age and Years. For age and months, select the output from Compose Age and Months. Finally, click Save to save your flow. That's it, your flow is complete. Let's go ahead and test it out. Back in SharePoint, create a new item. Enter a title and a test date. For this demo, We'll use the date the Toronto Maple Leafs last won the Stanley Cup. Click Save to create the item. Now, head back to the Flow Run History in Power Automate and click Refresh. You'll see that the flow has successfully run. Switching back to the SharePoint list, refresh the page. 
You'll now see that the age fields have been updated automatically. And yes, it confirms it's been 58 years since the Leafs last hoisted the cup. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found this helpful, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe for more. Microsoft 365 and Power Automate tutorials. And stay tuned, because in the next part of this series, I'll show you how to modify this flow so it calculates and updates the age daily for every item in your SharePoint list. Thanks for watching.